that's uh, that's not a circle. <laughs> Hi everyone, it's Molly. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here. I am going to be doing a balloon smash. I haven't done one of these in a while and I think that it is my, I can't get these in there, that it is my only, it's like static to my hand, that it's the only class, look at this. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I'm gonna set it over here. It's the only class left um, for FAB that I have spots open for. So I am going to, and I'm teaching it two ways, the way that I'm doing now, and also the way where I blend acrylic paint on the canvas, and then do the very concentrated balloon smashes. So this is a balloon dip that I'm doing tonight. I am going to use this beautiful blue base color and another artist that works in balloons and she does really beautiful work is uh, Gilly Rice Cube. And she is, her and Jennifer Glover Riggs on Instagram. I love their balloon work that they do. So for this technique, my paints are pretty thick, but I am going to try to get an extremely thin layer on the canvas and I have a couple pieces I'll have to dip out as well. And the reason that I'm gonna get a really thin or try to get a really thin layer is because the paint, because it's so thick, it will stick to the bottom and you won't actually get the balloon dip that you're going for. So I am just gonna try to get all the paint down to this last area here. It's getting there. And tilting it this much is gonna ensure that I have a thin layer on there. All right, I am a mess already. And <laughs> I need to cover my sides. Okay, the rest of that is covered. Oh, got it on my paint stands instead. All right. My husband's like, what do you need balloons for? <laughs> it's like, don't worry about it. All right, let me get out these little pieces. I saw you there, buddy. Okay, so I think for design, I like to do a little bit off center offset I'm like a mess everything's sticking but you already knew that right <laughs> that I'm a mess um, and I got blue paint all in my you know <laughs> whatever so I'm using purple yellow turquoise and phthalo blue for this one so I think I'm gonna do and what I like to do is alternate a couple spots and you don't want too much paint on here. So I'm gonna do a couple with the purple down first. Hmm, I think I want my turquoise next. And again, you don't need too much. Then I think I'm gonna do, my yellow will create a little bit of a green. Actually, this yellow and this blue will likely create almost like another turquoise color. Maybe one over here. And I do have gold, and my gold I'm going to keep mostly on top um, so that it shines through really pretty once it dries. I think I'm going to do, I think I'm going to keep my turquoise in the middle on these. Oh, that was a lot. And you see your base layer didn't need to be thick because you have all these paints that are gonna be on there as well. Okay, now I'm gonna come in blue on the bottom here. And I'm leaving a little bit of space because I'm gonna have yellow on the top there. I'm leaving a little bit of space because I'm gonna dip multiple times with the balloon. 
so I think I want, oh, I didn't have my purple, so I'm gonna do my purple on top here. Maybe my purple there on those. I'm just winging this. Then I'll do my turquoise. And I may add a couple more. Am I missing, what am I missing there, yellow? And I think I'm just gonna do, I'm gonna leave the yellow out of these and just do gold. This is a super fun technique. Gilly normally, I hope I say it right, Jilly? Jilly. She, nor Gilly, I don't know. She normally does um, like these Australian, because she's from Australia, these Australian Floetrol flow swipes and then she dips the balloon through them. I remember it was years ago, the first time I saw it, and I was like, wow, that is beautiful. Okay, so let me get my canvas that I dip it on. And you see how that base paint came up a little bit? But it's okay because it's gonna flower out and then the color will show up underneath it again. Ooh, look at that. So I want to like connect them a little bit. And I actually like the little drips that come through there. Oh, can you see that? And I like to twist it a little bit. Okay, I do need to have at least one piece to like really wipe it off. Now I'm gonna come through, just very lightly, pick it up. Okay. And this takes a little bit of practice and you have to really like start to think about the composition, but you have to trust the process on this one. I still maybe had just a little bit too much paint, but it's already starting to come together to what I like as the colors start blending. And this takes a while. Like, I, I'm gonna balloon this for a while. I would say about four to five balloons and then just wipe your balloon off, like smashes, dips wipe your balloon off and then you can go back in. All of your, or most of your color is gonna come, it's gonna look like it's gone, but if you keep dipping, it will come back. That canvas is so pretty. Oh, I'm loving this already. like to get my sides too because I will keep dipping and those colors on this canvas will oh yes loving this Next, I'm gonna go in and start deciding where I want some really bright colors and where I want my composition to be. You do not have to press all the way down to the canvas. You can just touch it very lightly and then bring it up. The thinner your paints are, the more that they will 
not kind of hold their shape. And the thicker they are, the more they will kind of stick to the balloon. So it's important to get a right mixture on this one too. So I'm actually gonna go on the side and just very gently touch this one. Very gently come through and touch this one. I am liking this. I'm liking some of the squiggles. I want more along here. Loving the lines that are in there. I blew up this other one, but I don't think I need it, honestly. So I want to do one right here. One right here. So I like the mixture of the turquoise. And then maybe the gold. And leave out the blue in this one. Okay, so again, very lightly touch. Bring it up slow. And when you do that, it gives you more of like a petal shape. So now I'm gonna take it over to there and make a big balloon smash out of it. And then I like to let it run down the side to create that shape and composition. I will say out of the techniques, I like painting a dry surface and then balloon smashing, but that's just me. But this one gives super interesting designs. It just takes a while to work at it. So I'm gonna very lightly touch right there. Just bringing the composition and everything together now. Oh, love that. Maybe one more touch right here. Bringing them together. Oh, yes. Yes. It just takes a little while. That is going to be a really cool background for something else. And I think I want to add. I think I'm going to go up there, leave this corner, maybe touch right there. Yeah, and I think I want some turquoise and gold right there. I thought for sure I had too much paint in these cups, but. You can use a glove that you've blown up. You can use balloons. Um, you can use like a Ziploc bag and put a little bit of water or air in it. There's tons of ways to do this. I actually want that to kind of swirl up there. And I want this to kind of swirl. So I'm loving the turquoise and yellow together. I love the gold and the purple together. I do think I want one little splash of purple over here, maybe with a little bit of blue on top. Oh, and my gold.
feeling just a little bit more yellow and turquoise up here. Maybe the blue. There's so much to think about, even though this seems like such an, an easy technique. There's so many things that can make it either super successful or not at all. Oh, I like that petal so much better now. And I'm, I really want this purple right here. And the gold, I'm really loving the purple and gold. Ah, oh, love it. Just take your time with this. I still want that purple there, dang it. Okay, so the bigger the puddle, you'll be able to keep the color underneath. You can kind of roll it a little bit and then pick it up very slowly to keep the color there. See, like that? And you can actually create the petals the way you want to. So I'm gonna spin my balloon around, touch it on that side, and then I could get those colors through there. But I do feel like, again, that purple and gold has been my kind of deciding factor through all of this. So I'm gonna push this petal out to this side. So I'm gonna go inward this way, push that petal out. Just the tiniest little amount. I actually think I love that. I do want one more. Petal right there. Love it. Oh. Love it. Okay, I'm done. I'm gonna leave. I like the little whimsical pieces, the drips, the, I, I love everything about it. I think it is really pretty. Love the composition, working on this part of the canvas, leaving a couple corners with negative space. Love the colors. Actually really difficult technique to try to get right. But um, I am so excited to meet everyone that has signed up for the classes and I'm gonna show you what this looks like wet. You can see all the details and then I'll show you what it looks like dry. I forgot to show you the little mini on the side. This one, maybe we'll get a stencil over it like Olga does. I'm not sure yet, but it's really pretty and looks super floral. So I really like this. I'm gonna take you in show you all the different details that are in it. Fiona Art does balloon dips as well. So make sure you check out Gilly Rice Cube. Look at that. My camera is like trying to autofocus on everything and check out Fiona Art. And Jennifer Riggs on Instagram. So there you have it. I love the pops of yellow and turquoise and blue. The purple really tied it all together. I think it's going to dry really beautiful. 
and it does flatten out. You see how it's kind of built up there? There will be a little bit of ridges, but for the most part, it kind of flattens out. But I love the composition. So I'll show you how this one dries. Okay, here it is, and you really have to get in to see the details. I mean, the gold is shining like crazy in this. I'm so glad I kept adding the gold to the top. And you can see it dried pretty much flat. I'll take you in this way so that the shine doesn't. Love the petals. That's probably my favorite part right there. And those up there. Love how it connects the colors, the gold, everything. I love it. Well, I hope that you found this video interesting and something a little bit different. And for those that are taking my class, I will see you October. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Yep, be painting. Bye.